Rust defined dy dx using implicit differentiation. Before we differentiate both sides with respect to x, we need to use our negative exponent properties and write two divided by x, or two divided by x to the first, as two x to the power of negative one, and rewrite three divided by y, or three divided by y to the first, as three y to the power of negative one. So the given equation is equivalent to two x to the power of negative one plus three y to the power of negative one equals one. And now to perform implicit differentiation, we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. When differentiating with respect to x, if the term is a y term, we differentiate with respect to y and then multiply by a factor of dy dx. And this is due to the chain rule. So to begin, we have the derivative of two x to the power of negative one with respect to x. So we multiply by negative one, which gives us negative two times x to the power of negative one minus one, which is negative two, plus the derivative of three y to the power of negative one with respect to x, which means we first differentiate with respect to y and then multiply by dy dx. So we multiply by negative one, which gives us negative three. So let's go ahead and change this to minus three y to the power of negative one minus one, which is negative two, and then times dy dx. Again, we're multiplying by dy dx because we are applying the chain rule here because we're differentiating with respect to x and we have a y term. On the right side, the derivative of one with respect to x is zero. And now we need to solve the equation for dy dx. So let's go ahead and add two x to the power of negative two to both sides. Simplifying, this sum is zero, leaving us with negative three y to the power of negative two times dy dx equals positive two x to the power of negative two. The next step is to divide both sides by negative three y to the power of negative two. Simplifying on the left, this quotient is equal to one leaving us with dy dx is equal to, notice the quotient is going to be negative, so we have negative two x to the power of negative two over three y to the power of negative two. So while this is the correct derivative, let's rewrite this using positive exponents. If we move x to the power of negative two down to the denominator or across the fraction bar, it will change the exponent from negative two to positive two and if we move y to the power of negative two up to the numerator or across the fraction bar, it will also change the exponent from negative two to positive two. So dy dx expressed using positive exponents is equal to negative two y to the power of positive two divided by three x to the power of positive two. So again, either form is correct, but you may be asked to express a derivative using positive exponents. I hope you found this helpful.